To our top story tonight, new information on a deadly car versus pedestrian crash in Yakima back in May. Carol Lee Fisher had been crossing the intersection of Tyanton Drive and 40th when she got hit by a car and died. Sophia Lesios joins us now with an update. Hi, Scott and Tracy. Caroline Fisher was crossing the street when a driver was trying to make a right. The driver didn't make a complete stop and did not see Caroline step into the crosswalk, causing the accident to happen. Now, this accident happened back in May, but Joseph Brusick, the prosecutor on this case, didn't make his decision about the traffic fatality until today. In the prosecutor's statement, he said, and I quote, It is my opinion, based upon the law of facts, that the state simply cannot prov prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Mr. Van Wagner drove with disregard for the safety of others. The loss of this young lady is, a tra is tragic for her family and for our community. However, we cannot charge someone with a crime based solely on emotion, end quote. I reached out to Carolee's husband to see what he thought about the prosecutor's station statement. I don't care about the money. No amount of money is going to fix everything that's been destroyed. It doesn't bring Carolee back. It doesn't fix anything. It doesn't mean anything. What means something is that we live in a society where a person can take another person's life. And because they did it with a car rather than with a, a pipe or a piece of wood, they're off the hook. They get a ticket. I also reached out to Yakima's prosecuting attorney, Joseph Brusick, to see why he made those decisions. And in looking at all the facts, as my memorandum indicated, we, we did not, I did not feel that we would be able to prove that a criminal act took place. In Yakima for NBC Right Now, I'm Sophia Lesios.